Hello folks and welcome back to another tutorial. I have this composition where I will be creating the design. I have opened this image in a separate document. I will make a selection to this part with the marquee tool. I just want the floor area. I duplicate the layer and I will erase the sky part by pressing the delete key my keyboard. I drag now that layer to my composition. I drag this layer to the group icon and I rename it floor. I double click in the layer to bring up the layer styles dialog box. I want to put a transparent gradient with black color to make it a little bit dark in the top part of the floor. I can click in the canvas to reposition it. I will create also a levels adjustment to darken it more. I have this picture open. I will make a selection just to the wall. But before make it, I will delete the one-way sign. So I take the marquee tool and I make a little rectangle. Now I go to edit, fill. And here I will select content aware. Now you can see that the one-way sign has disappeared. I will now take the polygonal lasso tool and I will draw a selection to the wall in the top part and then below. I just want the wall part without the floor. Now I drag the wall to the composition. I convert it into a smart object. I press Ctrl or Command T to free transform. I scale it as necessary. I duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. I press Ctrl or Command T to free transform again, then right click and choose Flip Horizontal. I group these layers and I rename it. I can scale it again. I will drag now the city picture. I place it below all the layers and I reposition it. I group it also. I will group this layers the wall layers because I want to put layer styles. And this will be the gradient overlay. I want to dark the wall a little bit, same as I did with the floor. I use levels adjustment layer, then I click on the layer mask icon to make the walls more darken. Now, I will be using some adjustment layers to make some color corrections to the other layers.
I create a new layer and I rename it Shadow. This will be to create a shadow in the wall edge floor. I take the brush tool and I modify the brush settings. I click and I make this thick line. I go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. I put 29.1 pixels. I create a layer mask to delete some parts. I bring now the couple. I will group the couple layer, then after that I create an empty layer for the shadows. I select the brush tool to paint some shadows. Change and use the settings as your needs. I put the inner shadow layer style to create some highlights. I create levels for this layer. I create color balance also. I will make a new layer for the rain. I use white color for the rain.
I make a layer mask to the rain layer to reduce the effect a little bit in the bottom. Then now, with the brush tool, low opacity, I will click in some areas, also to reduce the effect. I take this water photo, to put it as water puddle. I scale it. Now, I will go to edit, then I select the puppet warp tool. I drag a marquee around the water picture, and covering the whole image. And what I do now is, is fit the corners in perspective. I try to fit them with the floor. I make some copies. I create layer mask to each one of these layers and also I set the bounding mode to linear dodge. I take the brush tool with low opacity and I delete some parts of these photos. Something like this. I create a new layer for the light. I select the brush tool and yellow color from the swatches panel. I click somewhere in here. I create another layer, and I press Ctrl or Command Backspace key to fill the layer with the background black color in this case. I convert it into a smart object. I go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. I select this preset. You can select whatever you want. Now, I will create color effects. I create a solid adjustment layer. I will use this blue color. I set the blending mode to soft light. I take the brush tool to reduce the effect in the layer mask. Something like this. Now I create a curves adjustment. In the preset I select the darker RGB. I reduce the opacity to 75%. And the last one will be a color lookup adjustment. In the 3D lot file, select the film stock 50. And opacity to 50%. I group the color effects and I rename it. So, there you have this basic photo manipulation. Feel free to make this awesome with your own touch. Subscribe, comment, like and share. I see you in the next video.